Hey, welcome back. Please stick around for Keith Richards Riff Cousins episode 14. Hey. Welcome back everybody. Today I want to talk about a move that Keith does not do all that often for some reason, but whenever he does, it's it's very noticeable and it's very effective. Uh, and the first instance of it that I've heard um, is from Monkey Man, 1969. And the shape, the move that I want to focus on is this, this one right here. It's a dominant seven. In this case, so the Monkey Man riff is pivoting off of the C sharp major, the A shape of the C sharp major. And then we get this F sharp dominant seven. All right? And here, if I just play it here, that E note, the flatted seven of F sharp, here, fourth finger uh, planted on the third string, ninth fret. So it's essentially, it's a dominant seven shape of the four chord. Um, and for whatever reason, this just doesn't turn up all that often. But let me show you a couple other times where it does. So it means a lot. This has got to be the only YouTube channel that ever talks about this song. Um, the band is vamping over A. And Keith kind of just has a stray idea that it comes and goes. Yeah. So it's essentially it's a D7. D7 over A. It's a shell of a D7. Anyway, it's a D dominant 7 sound. Um, got my third finger on the F sharp. Note on the fourth string, fourth fret, and my fourth finger on the C note, fifth fret, third string. All right, so kind of monkey man-esque move there. Maybe we should just call it the monkey man move. Uh, here's one more. Uh, sparks will fly. So, Sparks Will Fly from 1994's Voodoo Lounge. It's interesting also for this intro chord, it's kind of a Keith Orphan. Uh, you don't see that one uh, come up ever again. Anyway, this one happens right before the bridge. Seven. It's that uh, Monkey Man-esque dominant seven shape. That's a little bit like the bridge. Um, you can't if you can't rock me. But rhythmically, it reminds me more of what we're talking about here. This Monkey Man uh, dominant seven move. Now, for the the tail of that lick. So this is just a, a C7. An E note, B flat, C. You don't really even need to play the uh, the second string. But for that move, I'm playing. Uh, got my the fifth string, third fret, and I'm also adding the uh, fourth string, second fret. I think that's what's happening. But it can, you can just play the fifth string too. Just kind of slide it and slur it. Um, anyway, it's a great sound. Don't know why he didn't do it more often. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.